Hello, hello. I have a little bit of a different tutorial for you guys today, but nonetheless, super important, something that you can utilize in your music career as a producer or an independent artist to really leverage some of your already existing work. What we're going to be doing is turning either our beats or our songs into a slowed and reverbed version. You might have seen a lot of bigger artists doing this recently as well. So I'm going to show you two ways that you can do it yourself. First way is a lot more flexible, more in depth, takes a little bit more time, but make sure you stick around for the second way because it's sort of like a cheat code. But without further ado, let's get to it. So what I have here is a beat that I previously made. This is a pretty slow BPM guitar beat. These tend to work the best for the slowed and reverb style in my opinion. And we will be working in FL Studio here, but if you're using a different DAW such as Logic or Ableton, keep in mind it will be very, very similar. So we're going to double click on this to open it up and make sure we send it to a track. It doesn't really matter which one, we'll just do one for simplicity. And the first thing we're going to do is add a reverb effect and then turn the whole reverb down to about 30%. Obviously this varies for each beat and song. This is just where I like to kind of start it to get a feel and adjust it from there. And we'll double click open this back up. And here on this multiplicator knob, we're gonna hold control and drag it until it goes to about 120%. The number you're looking for is in the top left corner there. And the reason that we hold down the control key is so that it goes in smaller increments when we're turning the knob. This allows for more precise adjustment. Okay, so now we're going to press play and listen to what we have. And then we can adjust it from there. We can either slow it down a bit more, speed it up a tad, add more reverb. So for example, in this one, I think we can get away with a little bit more reverb, but I actually want to turn that wetness down a little bit. And I'll even add an EQ here. I'm going to add the 20 hertz and 18 kilohertz cut preset. And that'll just kind of get rid of the really low lows and the really high highs that are kind of muddying up our sound here. And in terms of speed and everything, I think that's about perfect. So we're just gonna export this and then we can use this to upload to YouTube, Spotify and other streaming platforms just as we did with our original release. You can either upload it completely separate and have it on a completely different release date or what I see a lot of people do is include these versions in an album or a deluxe version of the album. So just a really quick recap, the reason we're using FL Studio for this is the precise adjustment that it allows us to do. If you aren't happy Happy with the speed just hold that control knob and you can really precisely adjust for the exact speed and sound that you're looking for this next method we're going to use while it is a bit more simple it's not going to have as in-depth controls so it's up to you whichever method suits your needs best so this next method here is actually a website it's called slowed and reverb dot studio and it's super easy all you got to do is click choose an audio file to get started it'll take only like 10 seconds to load up here and then really similar to fl studio you just control the speed and reverb effects here i find the quality doesn't sound quite as good when doing it through here and again it doesn't allow for as precise adjustments as you can see here you're working in 0.5 increments and 5% increments as opposed to FL Studio you can do any increment you want as well as add other effects such as delays but I'll take a listen here to show you what this generates As you can see, very similar outcome. This one was way quicker, probably would have only taken me five seconds if I wasn't explaining the whole process to you. But realistically, once you get the FL Studio way down, that only takes about a minute as well. But yeah, go ham, try both, decide which one you like the best, and let me know in the comments. Hopefully this will let you get some more releases out to your fans and keep some consistent drops coming. Definitely subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. I do tutorials like this every two weeks. Let's get it. Thank you so much for watching.